Welcome to art lab number nine, crayon and oil pastel resist. In my last video, I talked about making lines with a waxy art material like oil pastel and crayons to make a drawing. And then now I'm going to show you how it looks once I paint over it. The first thing I'm going to paint is actually my positive space. That is the actual drawing inside of it. And remember that this piece of art is inspired by Kahindi Wiley and I don't want to do it exactly the way he did, so I think I'm going to change my colors. I'm going to pick unrealistic colors as opposed to Kahindi Wiley's realistic colors. So I think I'm going to do, how about some purple skin? And I think I'm going to leave some areas white to show that that's where the light is hitting. That is also called the highlight area. You can start to see that in parts, the watercolor paint is going around the waxy art material drawings that we did last week. So I think I want to paint her skin like that. And how about, I think I want a green shirt. You can start to really see the resist drawing that we did start to pop up. So now I have painted my positive space and I could start painting my background, but I'm going to actually let it dry for a little bit. As you guys know, when the paper is wet and you put some watercolor next to the painted areas, the colors are gonna start to mix a little bit, which is what makes watercolor really interesting, that the colors can blend on the paper. But if you don't want it to mix, you'll want to let the paper dry for a little bit. So I'm gonna come back once it's more, a little bit more dry. Now that my painting is pretty dry, it's still damp, but it shouldn't mix anymore. I'm going to finish painting my background. So I think I will use blue for my background. I'm using regular white copy paper for this project. So the watercolor is kind of soaking through. If you have thicker paper that you're working on, the colors are gonna show up a little bit more vibrant. Here's my image while the painting's still wet. I will show you a finished version once the paint is a little bit more dry. And here's my finished crayon resist painting after it's a little bit more dry. 